Nora is the mother of a girl named Amal. Amal is very excited because she is celebrating her birthday. Nora is struggling with food insecurity and each week buying groceries is very difficult with costs going up. Nora is very careful as she picks her groceries. Amal sees the baker and runs as fast as she can to see the cakes. The mouse is a beautiful pink birthday cake. Nora pulls out her wallet from her purse. She realizes she only has $75, which she has to pay for all her weekly groceries and the cake. Your total is $100. Nora is silent as she realizes she doesn't have enough to pay for the cake and her basic groceries. After doing the calculation, she decides to give back the cake and see if she can find a cheaper one somewhere else. Nora is overcome with feelings of sadness and shame and not being able to feed her family. The grocery line gets bigger, the cashier feels terrible, and Alex is watching and wishing he could help. Amal runs away in anger because she realizes it's not just about the cake, but her family is struggling without enough food. Nora chases her daughter, who runs away towards the dumpster. Alex, who is watching the whole thing, decides to see if he can help too, and he starts running. Amal runs until she's stopped by the dumpster, blocking her way. Her mother and Alex catch up with her, and they are shocked by what they see. Two grocery store workers throwing out the baked goods. Amal goes directly to talk to the employees, and she tells them, why are you wasting so much food? There are people dying because they are hungry. Meanwhile, you are wasting food every Tuesday. Did you know that a lot of people could change the world if they had the opportunity? I have an idea. We should pick up all the food that they throw before the food goes to the container and create our own NGO. This is a fantastic idea. I was recording the conversations with employees. We should post it on YouTube. The boss of the supermarket watches the YouTube video and proposes to join Noor, Amal, and Alex in their NGO. After months of planning, Amar and Noor set up a stand on the corner of the store where people in need can take food for free. They also provide a delivery system for those unable to travel. The store manager helps Amal and Noor advertise their NGO on social media. Amal, Noor, and Alex make flyers and put them around the city while the store manager advertises it on Facebook and starts to get recognition of the schools in the area. Suddenly, Nora realizes how big Food for Families is becoming. We need an operations hub, like a headquarters, she exclaims. Alex is skeptical. We don't have enough money for that, right? Nora clears her face and answers. The store owner offered us some money. We could afford it, she replies. Exploring the neighborhood, they find an abandoned warehouse. After inquiring, they discover the building is for lease. Volunteers within the community help renovate so that they can further grow their business. Two weeks later, uh, the local news asks Amal if they could interview them to go on the news. After they get on the news, more schools help pack families in need. Nora and Amal leave the building to help the next family in line. Look how many people are here, Amal says excitedly. In line at the front of the building stood at least 70 people in need. Off to the side of the main line stood almost double amount of volunteers. Many of the volunteers are were children and parents from the schools they partnered with. Nora looked and saw many people in the line smiling and laughing with each other. Near the back of the line, she saw a group of people clustered around a young girl. They were singing happy birthday, and Nora and Amal both knew with certainty that she would have a cake for her birthday.